Tim, uh, an extremely disappointing evening at the office. Where do you assess that one then? Where do I assess it? Yeah. Uh, first half was an absolute disgrace. A disgrace. Um, got done by uh, two set pieces. If you can't that, listen. If you can't hit the ball out of your own box, I'll try and stand calm. Um, in this division, then you are absolutely wasting your time. The second goal didn't win the first, or half won the first contact, not aggressive enough, drops to the kid and he, and he volleys it in. Obviously, at half time, I go, as you can imagine, I'm, some, probably a lot of people don't really know me, but I care massively, okay? I care massively. I, I'm proud to be manager of this football club. I'm proud. Uh, to represent it um, and without, listen, I'm not going to dig anyone out individually or whatever, but I made it clear that if, if you want to represent this football club, then you need to you need to front up or you need to do one, basically, because I cannot and I will not stand and watch a group of players fold like a deck of cards in, like they did in the first half and it then takes someone to have an art attack and make his missus a widow for them to liven up at the oldest trick in the book, 3 0 down, all right, we'll have a little go then, shall we? Change the shape again for the third time in three games. I'm messing around, changing shapes. Listen, quite clearly, the three at the back ain't working, all right? There's, there's certain, there's certain uh, players that ain't doing it for me, all right? Now, listen, it's all right me saying that. I need to get some in that do do it for me. And, and I understand that, and it, it ain't easy. It's not easy getting them in, believe me. Um, it, at half time, it was not a nice place to be in our and right, okay. Do I get a reaction? Yeah, but well done, eh? Well done. Too late, too little. All right? And I'm not telling you anything that I haven't told them. Um, listen, I built a side at Solihull, okay, that used to come to away grounds, fold people up, and put them in their pockets, okay? And I built it a certain way, and like it or loathe it, I don't really care. But I'm telling you now, if you don't want to represent the club and don't want to represent the, the badge, do one. So that's where I'm at with it. Um, as you can imagine, I'm still, I'm still a little bit uh, raw after after the game. You know, uh, uh, by the way, uh, uh, three 0 down, I'm thinking, Christ, are you sure? Do you know what I mean? We're coming away to the team, the only team that are below us or were below us. And we, we rock up like that in what is such an important game for us. So, you know, I've got, well, I haven't got decisions to make. We need to bring some players in. And we need to bring them in quickly. Because whatever happens with this division, and I don't, I don't know and I don't care. The only thing I care about is what happens with Barnet from now until the end of the season. And we cannot keep rocking up and playing like that. And I cannot keep coming and speaking to you after games and saying the same old hymn. Because in the end, I'll get the phone call to say, clear your desk and do one. So that's where I'm at with it. So I need, I need to, to find who wants to be with me, who wants to, who wants to go in and punch their weight and be a man. Because basically at the end, I, I talk about manning up. This, this is a man's league. This ain't for children. This ain't for people that don't want to roll their sleeves up on a porridge pot of a pitch in a howling gale and a, and a deluge and don't really fancy it. it. This ain't the division for you. So go back to wherever you come from and go and play on these whatever. So that's where I'm at, mate. So my head's, my head's gone a little bit, but um, we start again on Thursday. And I've told him if any of you think that I'm wrong, not my door, and tell me I'm wrong, and we'll shake hands and you can go and play for somebody else. That's where I'm at with it. When we conceded the two goals so quickly, that, that must be infuriating. I can see it on your face and in that answer. Is that a mentality problem that we've yeah. got to get out of and quickly yeah. because we're in a very difficult position now? We're in a massively difficult one. We were before mm. the game, mm. but we're, and we're in an even deeper one now. But listen, it's a, they're two corner kicks. They're not even good corner kicks. It's how in the game. It's not like it's a wicked delivery or anything. I mean, turn it in, get rid of it, and get first contact, and get it with some distance on it, and get it out of the danger area. I've got enough big lads in there who can punch their weight, okay? So, yeah, I mean, obviously, listen, I, again, back to soil. We, set pieces, we were absolutely nailed for and against and, and I had throws in the team and a good delivery, a delivery from offensive set players, woeful, absolutely in every game we've played so far, we can't beat the first man, well you can't cross the ball, come on, come on so, no um, 
I've told them, listen, we're, we're, we're well, they know where we are, that's stupid. You've got to go Google the National League table to know where we're at. So, um, I, I think, listen, I think we'll finish this season. So we need to fight our way out of it uh, somehow and get a group of men together who are going to come and flex their muscles and tough this season out and get us out of the, the hole that we're in. I finish on that sometimes a win can be a turning point in the yeah. season and obviously we've gone bottom tonight. Does this got to be the, the wake up call to, to some of the boys and, and to, the, to the club that we've, well, got, so we've got to get ourselves out of it? 16 games to wake up. Mm. There's enough experience in there, right? We've got one or two younger ones who've come through the system, but they've still played quite a few games at this level. And guess who's coming to town Saturday? The league leaders, all right? So you play like that, and you are gonna get absolutely pulled to ribbons, all right? So, as much as I've been critical of them, and, and I have, and it's been pretty ruthless, if I'm honest, but maybe they need that. Maybe that they need that. If you want to call it a wake-up call, but at this stage of the season now, wake-up calls, they're like, I'm long past that, I'm past that. Look at the table, look where we are. We start again on Thursday. <laughs> you know, I've got, again, I had all Sunday thinking about it, all day sat with the computer and looking how we can change things. And I'll be doing it again tomorrow for another 10 hours, trawling through it, we're trawling through Torquay, trawling through our debris. What's the shape, what team? And uh, I've got a lot, of, a lot of thinking to do, and, and I've got a lot of conversations to have as well. Because I've come here to, to try and make a difference. I've come here to try and win some football matches, to galvanise a team and a club that was struggling. And right now, uh, that's not happening. It ain't happening. So uh, I've got to get people in that are going to make it happen. Um, and that's what I'll be endeavouring to do.